What's up, Sushi Squad? We back in some more Minecraft dungeons. Sorry it's been a couple days, but as you may have seen on the channel, I got kind of caught off guard by some other big game announcements and stuff. I mean, it's, you know, it's cool because it gives me the opportunity to kind of just chill uh, and relax with the series rather than trying to rush it out as quickly as possible. Now, I ended up actually doing all of the celebration trials uh, in the meantime because I was just doing dailies and stuff. And it says that the cape is awarded? I guess that the cape is something that we get after the event because it doesn't seem like we ended up getting it now, which is kind of weird. Uh, but here's the cake armor. So I can show you guys that it's actually got 50% artifact damage, 20% uh, weapon damage aura, gives you a pet bat, and looks hilarious. Like, seriously, it just looks stupid. And I love the sound when you put it on. That doesn't make any sense, but it's weird and I like it. Uh, there's also the Satchel of Snacks. I was able to buy off one of the merchants. This is one of the new artifacts, which crafts a random food item and throws it on the ground near you, which I guess is pretty good because it means that you could have a bunch of these in combination with some potions. Uh, and you're basically you would be able to heal on cooldown, which uh, is a pretty big deal in this game because there's not really... I don't know, there's not really consistently good ways of healing. Uh, and then I got the anchor. This is not the unique version of this, but this weapon in itself is very unique. Cause check this out. It's the only weapon that does that attack animation. So it's pretty cool that they went the extra mile uh, with some of the new content. Hopefully we can end up getting the unique version of this because I've heard it's pretty good. There's a buddy of mine who absolutely loves that weapon. I think most of all because it has uh, very strong follow through. I think that's the reason why. Anyways, we're going to be doing the Radiant Ravine today. Which apparently has uh, a new weapon, a new piece of armor, and still an artifact that I'm missing. Which is interesting. I, you know, obviously when I ended up making my video of the patch notes and going through all of the gear and stuff that was available on the Reddit, uh, I still didn't see all the new artifacts and stuff, so I kind of been staying away from from all that so that we can experience it for ourselves. But I sure do like these water levels. I've ran them a couple times. Die, giant turtle, die! Why am I killing them? These water levels are pretty cool, dude. Like, legit, I actually like them. Please don't tell me they have deflect. I've gone back to using my uh, electro arrows because I feel like one-shotting absolutely everything again, so... <laughs> Uh, the new armor, I know for a fact. Whoa! -ho -ho. Uh, I know the new armor is gonna end up being the squid armor. Which, uh, I've heard looks really, really cool and functions really, really cool. I, I just like it because it's kind of Cthulhu stuff. And, uh, generally that's just one of my favorite lore things. Please don't be a trap. Sweet! Gold chest, super easy. I'll take it. But I'm excited to check out this area. Uh, my buddy already ended up going through the entire DLC because it literally is just three levels, which is kind of disappointing. I, I'm guessing it's because they're saving, like the, the big update is probably going to end up being um, the end city. That's probably where it's gonna end up being absolutely crazy. Okay, so you know what? I'm noticing that this is a nice alternate path. So we might actually find some goodums over here. It says that we can keep going, and yet the map must be lying to me. Weird. Like, that's the thing. Even though this area is only three maps, I will say that at least they went pretty hardcore with the water theme. You know? Because I can't really say that they ended up going this far with a lot of the other areas in the game. Sorry, I keep checking the map so much. I'm just very confused as to where I have to go. But I, I just really, really like this area. Like, visually... My sheep! He died! <laughs> no! Oh, my God. Oh. Survive the drowned. Ooh, good music. Why can't I just get out of here? Weird. You know what? This weird underwater theme and the music, oddly enough, makes me think of uh, Aquaman. 
which is one of my favorite superhero movies as of late, uh, which is hilarious because uh, it's Aquaman. Nobody likes Aquaman. But I love that movie. It had a great soundtrack and just the world was beautiful. I don't know. That's kind of that's kind of the vibes that I get from this. Gen generally, though, like I said, like I I really like the quality. It, it seems like with this, they went quality over quantity. That said, my biggest criticism that I say in literally every video, I still think that they could have split these 40 minute levels into 20 minute levels each, and then it would have felt like we got more content. Did I win or? I guess we were supposed to be coming up over here. Did I win yet? Oh. There we go. Weird. This music's really good. I know I keep saying that, but I'm actually very surprised. Die by my electricity. See, now you guys see how OP it is. Oh, no. Oh, my God. There's so many different crossroads here. Oh, God. I can't tell which enemies are already dead, dude. Because <laughs> they, still, they still show up, you know? Like, they, they just kind of hover there. Sometimes they don't end up floating into outer space and it's really difficult to tell which ones are dead and which ones aren't water breathing let's go oh no that's one thing too dude is like this entire game like every single dlc just gets broken down into wave defense haha <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't in every single level Like, <laughs> I feel like they could have done cooler trials. Like, that's why I was, like, what they did in the first level of this DLC, that was cool, where the conduit was protected by the wave defense. And then otherwise, this is normal wave defense. A useless chest. Like, that was just a waste of my time. I really, like, I keep talking about it, but I seriously need to actually have some speed gear. I mean, like, I'm torn because... I, I want to have speed gear just for my own quality quality of life and fun aspect of the game. But at the same time, then we would just speed through this content like way too quick, you know? Like it'd be over so fast. Oh no, I'm drowning. Just kidding, I'm fine. Die, turtles. Hey, look, alternate path. Like an actual one. I also just noticed that whatever I was shooting at, something something enchanted up there uh, had deflect, so I could have very easily just killed myself. Get out of the way. These tridents are cool, but they're kind of useless because look how long they take to explode. And they still don't one-shot anyway, so it's like, why would I use that over uh, just my normal damage? Thank you very much. Good God, that's a lot of slimes. Speaking of weird little quality of life stuff, when you kill the slimes, they actually have air pockets inside them, which is a nice touch. So you can be really aggressive and fight slimes, and then, this is cool, uh, and you'll actually refill your air meter. Which is kind of cool. That caught me off guard when I first noticed that. Is this just a slime trial? Like, what? It, whoa, there's a chest at the end. Ooh, I like that those things get scared of me. Electricity go burr. Okay, this is gonna be to our chest, right? Whee! Ooh. Whoops. <laughs> I sneezed. See, before the trident can even explode, everything's already dead. I do like the artifacts that we're rocking, dude. I really like the, uh, I really like this ninja star thing. That was from the nether update, if I recall, right? Did I just... What's happening? Why can't I move? Hello, you stupid game? Oh, there we go. Okay. Good to see that they still have that bug. That's been since day one, where your controls just lock out randomly. It's not that bad, because we can just roll out of it, thank God, but... Where's my chest? I must still be going towards it, right? <laughs> right? Oh, there it is. Diamond chest. 
Oh my god. Sweet Jeebus. Alright, what is this? Saber Wing. Strong charge attacks and heals ally. I don't think that that's new. No, is that new? I don't think it is. It's got the it's got the new enchantment though, the overcharge, which is uh, pretty good. I mean, cool. Let's actually I should try it out. Eh, that's neat. What is this weird? I hear a radar. Oh god, I'm drowning. I heard sonar, dude, and it was spooking me. Made me think of the Maneater game where there's like a giant shark coming to kill me or something. Oh, that's neat. I, I see. There's like all these plants in the dark and when we go by them, they start glowing. Dude, that's so cool. Die, dolphins. Die. Oh, I think they were trying to help me. <laughs> oh, well. Eh. And boom goes the dynamite, right? Oh my god, that takes long to explode. Seriously. Wait, where do I go? Oh, that actually worked. I'm surprised. What am I doing? Why am I releasing crabs? Turtle? Oh, turtle. Oh no, and then I just killed a dolphin. It's okay, it was him or me. Yeah, that's why I keep telling myself. Oh god. Why can't we have a dolphin as a pet? Or even a summon? That would actually be really dope. Guys, I freed three of the turtles. How many turtles am I supposed to free? It shows that we can go somewhere else. Can I jump down there? This perspective is so messed up. Oh, it worked. Whee! Ha ha! Oh, I see. That's backward. Or this is the proper way to go. So we gotta actually go this way to... Free more of the tortoise. I'm not trying to attack the dolphin, okay? The game just... He just really wants to kill them. What can I say? Can you stop getting caught in the terrain, buddy? Is that the new... Oh, never mind. That's just normal arrows. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that was the new crossbow. Oh, this what? Uh, the music. It's so good, dude. I, I hope you guys can hear it, but I'm not exactly sure. Uh, just because my my own audio might be a, a bit higher than usual. Whoops, I forgot that can't actually attack up and down, like on the vertical plane. Did I win? Die, turtle! It was him or me. Okay, clearly this is the proper pathway. This is neat, though. No, the baby turtle! <laughs> At least he spelled out. <laughs> oh, the ragdoll is so good in this area, dude. I love it. Ooh. Secret chest. Hey, there's the new crossbow. Harpoon crossbow. Oh, right. It shoots harpoons, right? It shoots harpoons that cut through wind and water with devastating force. Fires harpoons. That's it? I guess the point is that it just shoots through. Like, yeah, it shoots through the water. I mean, cool, but I, I don't know why I would ever use that over my, uh, you know, heart bow. It's still a neat weapon. Oh, look, there's another one. I always wanted another one. I mean, I'll take the unique version, but... I just want that new armor, dude. Oh, no, I'm drowning. Ah, uh, see, we're all... Oh, no, the dolphin! <laughs> Oh my god. Steve with a vengeance, dude. He's so mean. Can we actually sneak along? Nah, it doesn't look like we could get into that background area. Seems like there might have been a secret back there, but I doubt it. Magma. This is getting cool. It's getting creepy. But see, that's the thing. Like, this, this area that we're in right now almost feels like it's a different level. So this could just be its own separate level or like part two of this map or something, you know? So that I didn't have to dedicate such a lengthy amount of time to each level. I mean, granted, we're, we're only 14 minutes in, but you gotta consider... What is this music? 
It sounds like a madman's carnival. Anyways, uh, we're probably like only halfway through this level or something, dude. I guess if, uh, again, if I was using speed gear, it wouldn't be as much of a problem, but still, dude. Oh my God. Why? I don't want the lava, dude. It is, it does look really cool though. It really does. So I'm guessing that means that the last level in the DLC is probably gonna be the, uh, that's, that's probably gonna end up being the underwater temple. Glow squids. Delicious. Oh my God, more pathways. So many different crossroads. I mean, I like how I'm sitting here saying, these levels are so long. It's like, dude, they wouldn't be if I didn't keep taking all these alternate paths. But the whole point too is it's like, most of the time the loot is not worth it. And it's like, I'd rather just farm the normal maps. I'm, I, sorry guys. I don't mean to be all negative towards it. Cause I do like it. Like I like the DLC and I, I love this game. It's just, I feel like there was, um, I feel like there was kind of a weird divide between what the devs original plan was for this game and then what it became. Because originally this game was like a super duper easily accessible, like kid friendly version of Diablo. And then as it got further and further into the end game, it's like they started listening to the tryhards on their forums and started actually developing the end game to be like difficult or something, or I don't know. I mean, you could say that this is kind of a walk in the park, but that's because I'm playing on a lower difficulty because honestly speaking, there's not really like, <laughs> I don't know. Like as far as the difficulty is concerned, it's literally just they're one shotting me or they're not. That <laughs> it's very black and white. If I was in co-op, I would be playing on a harder difficulty because then at least you can res each other, you know? But when you're playing solo, it's like if I die three times just because I get caught on enemies or something, it's like, oh, well, there went the entire level. And thus is my argument about not making these levels as long as they have been. I do not like this place one bit. Why am I inside a cave? There's so many pathways. This is ridiculous. See, like I said, this could be its whole, this could be a level whole to itself. Because it's sure acting like a new level. I mean, hopefully we're going to get some decent gear out of this side, but... Oh, look! More wave defense. No surprise there. I wonder what the big creature is that keeps taunting us. Like, what's the boss going to be? Because I thought it was going to end up being the uh, Temple Guardian. But we already fought that guy in, like, the first area as if it was an elite mob. Despite the fact that I've never fought it again. Would have been cool if it was just a normal mob. Now, I guess the other thing too is, I wonder whether or not, no. I wonder if this area, like the underwater zone, shows up in ancient hunts now. It probably does because of all the new gear, being able to have the runes that take you to these areas. Because that could be cool. Like, I do like the idea of the ancient hunts. I just feel that they should be a little bit more random rather than something that uh, the player can kind of designate, designate based on uh, specific gear that's used and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I mean... My, I, I guess the big point that I'm trying to make is when I'm playing a game like this, it's like, dude, the last thing I want to do is have to like think or like try to come up with like builds and stuff. I just want to be able to use the fun stuff that I used at the early portion of the game where I have like my role build and stuff. Because frankly speaking, if I wanted to like make this game like overly complicated or, you know, like a hardcore version of itself, I would just play Path of Exile <laughs> or Diablo. <laughs> And I plan to play Diablo when Diablo 2 Remake comes, you know? And there I can understand all the complexity that is with the end game and everything, because that game in general has a much higher ceiling than Minecraft Dungeons does. 
I don't know. I still love this game. It's just I'm I'm always gonna call it like it is, guys. I'm always gonna be overly critical. And so far, it's like outside of these new DLC areas being like, you know, they're interesting and they give you good pieces of gear and stuff. Um, and I guess technically they are cheap, right? Where the heck do I go into the mouth? It's telling me to go up top. Do I keep going all the way around? Oh yeah, okay. Deep, did you hear that? The weird sonar? Maybe the sonar sound shows up when you're out of air. I don't know. Sheep, stop walking on the lava, okay? I know you're like a fire sheep demon thing, but do you really want to hurt yourself? I also forgot uh, in the first episode, we never ended up naming our turtle. Let's call him Ted. Ted the turtle. Because we kind of <laughs> we kind of lost track of all the funny, goofy stuff that we were doing in this series, right? Me talking to myself underwater with Ted the turtle. Look out, Ted. I'll protect you. Is it a little late for me to start doing that? <laughs> Uh, do I really want to take the alternate path? Uh, fine. Oh, good God. I feel like this is a glitch. What was that visual effect? We say got that same saber wing. Die. Did I win yet? Oh my God, there's still more. There's barely any like oxygen in these areas, by the way. Like, yikes. Oh, look, another wave defense. That's why I didn't really want to take the alternative path because we kind of knew what it was going to be. There doesn't seem to be any, like, like, there's only, like, been two new mob bosses from this area, which is a little disappointing. This idiot, which I hate, because he's literally just a reskin of the Necromancer, but, like, some buffed up version. And then the uh, Elder Guardian, which I actually really like the Elder Guardian. I think I need to fight that thing a little bit more, please. Makes more sense that the Elder Guardian is something that I end up fighting underwater, not some big skeleton necromancer king thing that shoots lightning bolts while we're underwater. Like, you know what? I'm getting rid of the trident. Trying OP in vanilla Minecraft, but it ain't OP in this area, dude. Now, if, like, I, I really wish that we could, like, use the trident up on the surface. Because I think it would have been so cool. What the heck? Activate. Huh? What am I activating? It would have been so cool if the trident was a weapon. And then, like, maybe if the game was a little more complicated where you could have... Oh, we're activating some boss. I don't know, where you could trigger, like, a thunderstorm. You know, throw the trident during a rainy level and it would actually have like the lightning effect or something. What's happening? Whoa, defeat the drown. Alright. How much you guys want to bet that it's going to end with us either fighting um, the underwater necromancer or the elder guardian? Which one? Take your bets. I'm going to assume that Maybe the Elder Guardian? Maybe they're saving him? No, nah, I'm gonna go with the Necromancer. Okay? You guys just make the bet to yourselves in real life and just hold on to that. And if you win, I'll give you like a Ferrari of Legos or something. Oh. <laughs> well, there was one of them and it's still going, so maybe we're both gonna be right. I really need oxygen. Yeah, okay, so the sonar sound is when you don't have oxygen. I did have this stupid necromancer guy. Come on. And now, now is it going to have an elder guardian after? No, it didn't. All right, cool. I don't know. That level was weird. I don't know how this is my exit, but whatever. See, now, could you imagine... <laughs> Okay. Could you imagine something like that for a wave defense area where 
the level starts like falling down around you. Now that would be a neat gimmick uh, to kind of change up the wave defense formula instead of it just being copy and paste over and over. Satchel of elixirs. Okay, so that's one of the new items. What the heck? We got squid armor. Oh my God, it's disgusting. Movement speed aura. Uh, release ink cloud when rolling. What does it do? What's the ink cloud do? Anything? It just looks cool? Does it never go away? Okay, it does. I'm assuming that that'll like blind enemies or something, right? I don't know. Crafts two random potions based on your mission and throws them on the ground near you. Based on your mission, I guess if we're in the water level, it'll end up dropping water breathing potions and stuff. I suppose that's what they're talking about, right? All right, let's see if any of these got some good enchantments. That was not bad, but I don't really care. I mean, if it was the uniques, then I might be a little more inclined to keep them. Um, oh, that one's not bad. Uh, what about this? This one's actually really good too, and it's got gravity on it. So I think that's probably better than this one. Because the biggest thing that I'm looking at is it's got the shock web, which is insanely overpowered, and then overcharge, and then possibly poison cloud or punch, uh, versus this one that's got the same thing, but instead we would have gravity, uh, overcharge and then shock web so we wouldn't be able to have that poison dot but i'll get rid of this one just because why not uh i'll get rid of this because it's way too weak compared to the air one do you guys have anything good i mean that's not bad i don't want it what about you dum dum you got anything good just one of these all right well anyways guys we've already got uh only one level left the, the last level of the DLC. Crazy, right? We still are missing an artifact. What the heck? Can I get on this level? Yeah, I can. So that would be that would be the luckiest thing that I could possibly get. Is on this level, I would get the last artifact. And then I would have all the new stuff. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Smash like, sub for more. Buy the merch you want to support the channel. And have a good day.